Hi friends! So last week we started our research project and mine is on chameleons. So I wanted to share what I finished writing. So most chameleons live on the island of Madagascar, Africa. They live in rainforests and in deserts. Chameleons that live in trees are usually green. Those that live in deserts are brown. So this paragraph is just about where they live. So make sure that when you did your hab habitat sentences, it was only about where they lived. I do wanna show you one thing. Mrs. G started her sentence here, but this is a paragraph. So once we start um, writing in the classroom and we need paragraphs, I'm going to start making this symbol. That means that Mrs. G should have indented because this is the start of a new paragraph. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Ta -da! So we're going to write this week about what your animal looks like. So you see, I indented. You may also notice that Mrs. G underlined some words. These are words that I feel that my readers may not know what they mean. So when we're done doing all the different um, sections of our nonfiction writing, um, I'm going to have us do a glossary. So you can go back to what you wrote in Habitat as well as your new paragraph for this week and maybe underline a couple words that you want in your glossary, words that you think might help your reader understand what they mean. So here's my paragraph about what my chameleon looks like. Again, you're just focusing on what it looks like. So I wrote, chameleons are small reptiles. Their bodies change color to camouflage with their environment. They also change color to tell animals to stay away. The chameleon has eyes that stick out of its head. His eyes can also look in the di different directions at the same time. I forgot my period. Again, you only need to write three to five sentences. Um, Mrs. G can definitely write more about what a chameleon looks like, like his um, hands kind of look like a Y, his tongue is longer than its body. So you can add as much detail as you'd like to your sentences about what it looks like, or you can stick to just three to five of the main things that we should know. All right. I can't wait to see what you share. Don't forget to share either on Class Dojo or in Flipgrid about what your animal looks like. See you soon.